News First starts now. Right now at six, critical food assistance for Georgia families on the line tonight as the federal government inches toward a shutdown. Good evening, I'm Sean Gables. And I'm Alan Devlin. One million people in this state could lose benefits like SNAP. The program is one of several that will come to a screeching halt if lawmakers don't take action in Washington. Atlanta News First, Rachel Aragon is live tonight outside the Department of Family and Children's Services in downtown Atlanta. Rachel, local food banks are already preparing to serve more people. Yeah, they say if we see another shutdown once again, they say inevitably that, of course, demand for food assistance will go up. If you recall the shutdown in 2018, 2019, we saw that span over 30 days. Now the state's saying we see that once again, people here in Georgia will likely see a delay in their food benefits. A government shutdown would cause a lot of disruption. I just got my food stamp card today, my EBT card today. Especially for those like Atlanta resident Jim Gibson, who relies on SNAP benefits, federally funded food assistance. EBT is a necessity because everything, the economy has risen. Dollar stores is not dollar stores anymore. The Georgia Department of Human Services says if the federal government shuts down, October SNAP benefits will not be affected. However, a shutdown not resolved by November could result in SNAP clients experiencing a delay in their November benefit issuance. That could affect more than 1.4 million in the state. I'm a senior. I'm on disability. They take these food sales from me. How they expect me to eat? If funds dry up, the White House says a shutdown would also jeopardize a nutrition assistance program for women, infants, and children known as WIC. It estimates more than 220,000 Georgians are at risk of losing WIC assistance under a shutdown. We know that this shutdown will also likely increase demand for food assistance, and it will cause us to need to get more food out into the community. Food banks and those who receive food assistance are already planning their next move should a shutdown occur. So we going to the pantries? We going to the pantries? Food is a necessity. So we rely on churches. Jim hopes a shutdown is averted and that those in Washington are listening to those who would be impacted most. They need to get out here and see exactly, you know what I'm saying, what's really occurring. Now, if a shutdown does in fact occur, that means a delay in reimbursement for programs like Meals on Wheels, which would then mean, of course, a delay or even reduction of meals delivered to seniors. Pre-live in Atlanta, Rachel Aragon, Atlanta News First. And this just